uh, the, the SBA loans are all tied to credit scores and collateral, and you know, they're pretty much acting like a, like a banker. But if, if you're starting a new business in life, uh, you know, especially what we would call a small family business, a small micro business, I mean, you're, you're not going to have great credit scores. You're not going to have years upon years of experience and years upon years of savings. Doesn't mean you cannot do a small business successfully. Uh, because the skills that you need to successfully start and operate a micro business or a small family business are, are, are things specific to that business owner's character and skill set. And that's really where we need to focus the criteria to qualify for these entrepreneurial loans. So there are two parts of the program. The first part of the program is going to be a $200,000 SBA loan. And that will start most small businesses. So as an example, and this can apply to any business across the society, any, any sector, uh, any type of service or product, but just for conversation's sakes, let's just use the local coffee shop as an example. Somebody is in love with a coffee shop. They're, they're like me. They love coffee and pastries, and this is where they want to spend their life. Okay, fine. That's great. So we're going to say, Look, uh, Mr. or Mrs. New Business Owner, you've got to document that you've got at least one year's experience working in the local coffee shop. Okay, it has to be provable. You know, it doesn't have to be you know PhD provable, but you know you're going to have to get references from the from the people you worked with, produce some pictures, you know, write your your little report describing that 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 experience that, that you've had for the year, what have you learned, you know, what do you think you need to learn, and you know, we're, we're going to do things that are relatively uh, easy and accessible to prove that that person has uh, one year experience working in the coffee shop. So that's going to be the first criteria. And then of course the second criteria is the SBA itself will have the small business classes uh, on their website. So we will make sure that the, that the new business business owners are going to learn uh, marketing, accounting, financial management, uh, how to start that small business, you know, how to source suppliers, and, and, and the, the other proper topics that a brand new business owner will need to know. And then of course the, 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 the applicant, the business applicant, will simply go through the SBA website, listen to the videos, listen to the classes, and do the test at the end of it, and, uh, and that is that. Yeah, so it's very simple and rudimentary. Now that particular educational requirement that I'm talking about, they can also pick that up from the business schools across America. Like I, I noticed uh, these, these couple of weeks that the Wharton, for example, has created a three-month entrepreneurial course and they've made it available uh, across the country. So they're not applying the same admission standards for one of their degree programs, but they're essentially opening it up to anybody, any budding entrepreneur, anybody who wants to learn business to go to their website and to take that three month uh, you know, small business course. So that information can be learned through that way as well. And then if we go back to our high school program, uh, the high schools will, will have some of that material and some of those you know, quotation shop classes that we were talking about. Uh, so those are the two criteria. So if the, if, if the young guy is, or gal has got the experience, they pass this education because the government's making sure that they have got the basic knowledge that they need to do it, uh, then they're, then they're going to have to go out and find a location to operate their business. I mean, we're not going to finance 10 coffee shops next to each other in a row. So in every neighborhood, we've got the small strip mall and they only need one coffee shop. So, so, so this, the administrators of this program has to keep in mind that you know, if 100,000 people want a coffee shop, they're gonna have to be spread out across the country. Because from a business point of view, if you're putting everybody together, everyone's gonna go out of business. So we have to be rational about what we're doing. So the applicant will, they will have got the experience, they've done their bit of uh, introductory education. Now they're gonna go out and find an appropriate uh, location for their business and the appropriate suppliers for their business. And essentially what they're going to do is they're going to put forth a very basic business plan. We're not talking about these grant writing, 50 page, uh, you know, requests for money. We're talking about something very simple, you know, 10 pages, you know, very, you know, eight, nine, 10 pages, just the key points. 
Where is the business going to go? Who are the suppliers going to be? What are the products going to be in my business? You know, what price am I going to sell them for? You know, what are going to be the hours of the business? You know, who's going to work in the business? And it's probably going to be like husband and wife or two friends, you know, what, whatever it is. They're, they're starting down this road. And then the SBA is going to look at this, this application and they're going to say, well, okay, fine. Then you qualify for the $200,000 loan. So we will issue, the government will issue that $200,000 loan. It will be at a low market interest rate. And we're, we're talking about something, we're, we're talking about something that's not much higher than the Federal Reserve rates. You know, the main headline rates. We're not trying to enrich bakers here. This is not our purpose, okay? What we're trying to do is we're trying to create self-sufficient business owners across America. That's the most important goal. So it's going to be uh, a, 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 a very low interest rate, and the term of the loan is going to be large. I mean, it, you know, it, it's going to be on the order of, you know, 20, 25, 30 years, like most mortgages. And it will obviously be bankruptable because not every business is going to succeed. But if we go out and create 30 million new businesses, uh, you know, in the worst case scenario, 20 million of them are going to be absolutely just fine. 10 million of them won't make it for one reason or another. And the, the list could, is very long. But you know, two thirds of those businesses are going to survive. But the benefit of those 20 million people, which will translate into another 20 million partners, and then kids, we're looking at around 60 million beneficiaries of that family business, will, will bring more benefit overall to the society uh, than, the, than what we have now, which is putting people on government roles, sidelining people because there's no job for them, and basically uh, not lifting up all boats. So, so that's the general criteria that we're going to use for those 30 million uh, business owners.